an inorganic substance with a fixed you know chemical composition or a fixed type of structure you know so um, minerals they are actually rich in elements that we actually know about elements like oxygen elements like silicon elements like magnesium elements like um, calcium you know phosphorus potassium and the rest so these elements are actually found you know um, below the um, earth or will i say they are found within the lithosphere of the earth and then um, they combine together to give us what we call what rock as you can see on um, the screen that is being displayed. This is an example of a rock that is made up of minerals. So it means that the mineral that this rock is composed on is different from the mineral this one is composed on and it's different from this other word, um, rock that we have too. So let's look at um, the classification of, what, of rocks. Rocks are actually classified into three categories. The first is the, is the igneous rock. The second cate uh, category is called the sedimentary rock. And the third category of rock is actually called the metamorphic word rock. So we're going to look at these um, three, you know, classification one after the other. So let's look at the igneous rock. Now the word igneous is actually derived from a Latin word, which is ignis, which simply refers to fire. You know, so ignis, fire. That's how igneous rock is derived. So igneous rock is actually derived from a. a a hot molten substance we call what we call magma. So when we have magma ejecting from the, the, the base of the earth or the core of the earth to the surface or beneath the surface, and, and after that it solidifies, that solidification at the surface of the earth or be, be beneath the surface of the earth is what we call what igneous rock. So when a molten la ma uh, lava or magma goes through the magma chamber, down to the surface of the earth and it solidifies there whatsoever is formed there is an igneous rock igneous rock so a molten magma is actually what a material that is found beneath the earth's surface um, from which igneous rocks are what are formed so this is an, a, a typical example of um, um, such ejection as you can see on the screen we have what we have lava coming through the vents to the world, to the surface of the earth. Now, when this molten magma or lava s solidifies on the earth's surface, what the hard substance that is formed is actually called what? It's actually called um, the igneous what? The igneous rock. So let's look at the mode of formation. Now, the first thing we, that will happen when it, um, when it's formed is that the magma will what? Will come right from the um, from the.